Michigan. From the P.J. Fitzpatrick Home Improvement News Desk, New Jersey's most listened to station, New Jersey 101.5 News starts now. It's 1 o'clock. I'm Rick Rickman. Topping our report this hour, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has met with Israeli leaders in his push for a ceasefire deal between Israel and Hamas to impress on them that the time is now for an agreement that would free hostages and bring a pause in the nearly seven months of war. He said that Hamas would bear the blame for any failure to achieve a deal. A truce could avert an Israeli incursion into the southern Gaza city of Rafah, where hundreds of thousands of Palestinians are sheltering. Blinken on Wednesday also told families of hostages held in Gaza that Hamas needs to say yes to the deal. The Biden administration plans to reclassify marijuana, easing restrictions nationwide. The interim rule would soon reclassify the drug to a less stringent category that includes Tylenol and steroids. That will be the first time since the Controlled Substances Act was enacted more than 50 years ago. During a State of the Union address, Biden said no one should be jailed for using or possessing marijuana. I'm Lisa Taylor. Nine New Jersey residents have been charged in a massive grandparent scam that grabbed millions from elderly victims. It's the classic scam. A grandchild is hurt in an accident, arrested, and needs bail. The victim, victims were then told to send money electronically, or a courier would come pick up cash. Other suspects from New York and the Dominican Republic were named in a federal indictment. The arrests come the same day the FBI reported a huge rise in scams targeting older Americans, with bad actors taking more than $3.4 billion. A series of 10 events targeting student-athletes kicks off today at Don Bosco Prep in Ramsey. Angela Conover with the Partnership for a Drug-Free New Jersey says the goal is to equip these students with the info they need regarding the misuse of opioids. If they are prescribed an opioid, to know that they need to be aware of the signs and symptoms of dependency and addiction, that they shouldn't be sharing these drugs. Former NFL player and Jersey native Ray Lucas is the headlining speaker of the knockout opioid abuse events. Download our free app and sign up for breaking news, weather, and traffic alerts sent to your phone. Customize it for your neighborhood and stay informed with New Jersey 101.5. How many days of dry do we get? Chief Meteorologist Dan Zero's complete forecast is coming up. New Jersey fast traffic in one minute. New Jersey 101.5 instant weather. The rest of today will stay completely dry tomorrow and Friday, too. We've got partial sunshine heading into this afternoon. Inland high temperatures reaching into the 70s. Very nice. A little cooler along the coast as the sea breeze kicks in only in the 60s. Fog and low clouds are possibilities tonight. It'll feel comfortably cool. Lows in the mid-50s. And tomorrow looks fantastic. Nice and warm, staying dry. A mix of sun and clouds and high temperatures around 80. Friday, though, clouds return and temperatures are crashing. We're turning cooler. No more 80s. Highs on Friday only in the 60s. From the Maloof Auto Group Weather Desk, I'm Chief Meteorologist Dan Zero. Weather brought to you by NJ Diet. Get slimmer for the summer by losing a contractually guaranteed 20 to 40 plus pounds in only 40 days with NJ Diet. Call 855-5-NJ-DIET or go to njdiet.com. Get ready for summer with njdiet.com. Right now in Sussex, it's 70, Trenton 75, Egg Harbor Township is 72. Fast traffic and instant weather every 15 minutes on New Jersey 101.5. Not New York, not Philadelphia. We're proud to be Jersey's own New Jersey 101.5. Join the conversation.